hello friends today we have new topic in applied thermodynamics and the name of the topic which are particularly discussed today is air cooling system air cooling system is almost needed in thermodynamics in almost all the things that the we have to require very cooling system and as we know air is abundantly and free of cost available in nature so friends this air we can use for cooling purpose particularly in the rational and irrational rotations air cooling is the method for dissipation of heat and it works by making the object to cool having the large surface area friends one point we have to remember here that the air cooling system in which it requires the large area as the area will be large the heat dissipation is maximum the best example for is it the fitting of pins that is pins that provides the maximum area to cover the uh, area which covers the maximum air and get it locked air get locks in that particular pins area and heat dissipation rate will be increased the same pins we can see on the top head of ic engine uh, head block piston block head we can see the various types of pins are provided there for maximum heat dissipation and these pins we can see the, which increase the area of particular surface and heat dissipation rate is also increased and this area of cooling increase the rate of interest uh, rate of heat dissipation rate now in case of water heating done it is used the following air into object and wants to cool in many cases the addition of pins adds to the total surface area and making the heat sink make it great efficiency in air cooling so the very important aspect of air cooling is used in ic engine mostly in all the cases of ic engine it has been cooler than object or surface for which it is expected to remove the heat this is why that the second law of thermodynamics which tell us that it start the heat and only move the spontaneously from the hot reservoir to cold reservoir see what the second law state that in thermodynamics heat is only flow from hot reservoir to cool reservoir there is no heat transfer from uh, cold reservoir to hot reservoir both are become on the same temperature while the cool object become hotter and hot object become cooler that's why we can say that the heat is always transfer from hot reservoir to cold reservoir and that is totally op- adopted in this method by the any object we can cool with the help of air and under the subject air cooling we can study this now which kind of uses of air cooler in motorcycle particularly in ic engine where is adopted two stroke whether four stroke it is air is mainly used for air cooling of ic engine and particularly those powerful which is mostly used in aircraft because it is readily available fluid and it offers at the suitable temperature to be used efficiently why we can use in aircraft this is because the air at the uh, sky temperature is readily available into the uh, into the aircraft and which is readily available which get directly cooling effect to the particular area now while many such ic engines are called liquid air cooling the liquid li- uh, air cooling is also usually for liquid purpose and by passing through the radiator or heat exchanger we can cool them by liquid air cooling the example of direct air cooling in modern automobiles are rare but the most common example of the flat engine or boxer engine it is called uh, still in the bmw motorcycles now what can what kind of air cooling is used in the industrial uh, sections sectors 
the very large number of industrial process are used for which are adopted the air cooling system for their various processes air conditioning is the most common process of air into the room as well as building and in order to maintain the comfort environment for the occupants now which often the air has been cooled by chilled water or brine solution and heat transfer will be takes that medium transfer outside the building where often the fan drive and air heat exchanger is again affected to reject the heat or we can say to dissipate the heat which is under to be controlled and the heat into the atmosphere is dissipated by using the heat exchanger or controlling units now the common site around this other example is the power station are the large waste concern towards that that emits the steam more or less but it is the abundant and constant continuous process while they are running they continuously gives the somewhat outlets and these are in parts using the cooling or grand scale now we can see evaporative cooling in front of your screen you can see the evaporative coolers which can be adopted various parts with their important cycles provided in which for cooling purpose there is the blower is fitted center at the center of uh, the engine and inlet outlet ports are given the fan which continuously rotates and the heat heat incoming area which is shown by the red arrow and hot dry saturated air with the red arrow the controlling unit is under fitted into the uh, around the brower and the heat dissipation evaporated cooler e cooling air is available for ready use now from total estimation of these types of content can be calculated with the help of theoretical as well as numerical for this point particularly we can see the various functions and various types of cooling their uses and adoption in ic engine area this is the single point which is used in the ic engine cooling thank you very much friends in the next topic we can see the to uh, topic on next point thank you very much